Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a Reiner Knizia classic called Lost Cities. Lost Cities is a two-player game, two-player only, uh, designed by Dr. Knizia in 1999 so this game is 20 years old but the reason that i'm looking at it is because cosmos just put out their 20th anniversary edition with amazing art in case you couldn't tell from vincent dutre i mean just look at that you can tell it's him all day so what this game is is a card game players are trying to play cards on either side on their side of the board lowest number to highest numbers they're maybe they may be trying to wager that they're going to get more cards than their opponent to score a pile of points the trick here is Every color is worth negative 20 points to start, so you're trying to at least get higher than negative 20 so you can score some points in the columns. In this edition, there's a five color side, which is the standard side, and it has the six color side, which I'm gonna be playing on. Let me go down to the table right now. All right, so here's a game of Lost Cities, all set up. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna decide which side of the board you wanna play on. There's a five color side, which are just these colors, and then there's the expansion side, which is six, has the extra purple. I'm going to play with the purple just so you can get a full experience of what comes in this box. You're going to shuffle the cards. You're going to deal each player eight cards and then you're going to get started. So what you're trying to do in this game is you are trying to play cards. I'll show you in my hand. You're trying to play cards on your side of the colors to score the most points. And you're going to do that by playing cards from low number to high number and maybe even throwing in some wager cards. So the trick here is every one of these, we start out with negative 20 points. If we never play anything, we don't get any, There's it's zero. But if we play, say I played this three here, if I never play another card, I'm gonna get negative 17 points because it's your score minus your cards. For every one of these you have, so say I have this, the first one's double, the next one's triple, there are three total, if you can get the third one, all your points will be worth quadruple. So that's what we're trying to do. So on your turn, you're gonna play a card, you're gonna draw a card, or you're gonna discard a card, and you're gonna play a card. Or, yeah, then you're going to draw a card. So that's it. So it's my turn first. What I want to do is I want to start playing some wagers. So I'm going to place a yellow wager, and I'm going to draw a card. Two of four. Purple. All right. Then it's this player's turn. They are going to... So here's a little bit of what they have going on. They have two green wagers. They have a purple wager. And then they have some low numbers. They're going to start with purple. Just because it's right here next to me. And then they're going to draw a card. Purple five. All right, so they uh, now it's my turn again. And I am going to play my second yellow wager. So now I have triple points over there whenever I start playing points. Purple two. That works. All right, this player's turn. They have some green wagers, so they're gonna play a green wager down. Get started on that, draw a card. Green eight. Then it is my turn again. Let's see, what do I wanna do here? I'll play my white wager, just so I can maybe, if I get a good white card, I'll draw 10 blue. So that's pretty high and I may not want that right now. Back to this player. Um, they're gonna go ahead and play their next green wager. So they'll put that right there. Then they will draw another card. White seven. It's my turn again. I'm gonna go ahead and discard this tin blue because I don't really need it right now. You discard into the color and I got an eight purple, which is also not really that great. All right, so it's this player's turn. They are gonna start playing some color. Ah, they're actually gonna discard this tin white right now and they're gonna draw a card. Ooh, I would love to have that card. They know I would love to have that card. All right, let's see here. I'm going to discard this red seven because no one appears to be working on red yet. So I'll draw a new card. Ooh, purple handshake, all right. That's what I'm looking for. All right, and then this player is going to, they're gonna play this yellow too because they don't, they're just kissing the handshakes goodbye. Red six, all right, my turn. 
I'm going to play this purple handshake that I just got right there. All right. Draw another card. Red handshake. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This player's turn. They're going to... Oof. They're actually going to play this two, and they're going to draw this seven. Because you can draw from the discards or the deck. So they're drawing the seven red. All right, my turn again. I'm going to play my red handshake. Draw another card. Eight red. All right. So then their turn again. They are going to play. They're actually going to discard this blue nine. They have a white three. Not great still. Not what they wanted. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start playing on some purple. So I'm going to play the purple two. Draw a card. White six. Thought I had some white. I do. Not enough. All right. Then we're going to this one. Uh, they're going to discard this eight. Because they're really trying to get some good... Uh, that's okay. Maybe they'll start rolling with purple because they have three purple cards. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to play the purple three. And I'm going to draw off the top. Green four. All right. I don't have any green cards. So that actually is maybe not helpful. Uh, let's see. They're going to go ahead and play. Discard the green eight. And they're going to draw another card. Handshake green. Gamble paid off. All right. So now it is my turn. I'm going to play the purple four. Draw another card. Nine white. Then it's their turn. They are going to play their third green handshake. Then they're going to draw this card because even if they only play this card, it's going to be quadrupled. So we're going to go ahead and mark that. Then it'll be my turn again. I need some yellow cards. Need some yellow cards. I'm actually going to discard this ten, uh, nine white draw card. Ah, ten. Dang it. Well, I got a yellow, but it's not what I wanted. All right. This player's turn. They are going to start playing some purple. So they'll play that. And they'll draw a card from here. Ooh, they got a three. A three blue. All right. So back to my turn. I'm going to play this eight. And then draw a card. Come on, something good. Two blue. All right. So we're collecting some blue. That's good. Back to this player. They're going to play their six purple. Draw some cards. Six blue. Back to me. I'm going to play... Where are the blue handshakes? I'm going to discard this, and I'm going to draw uh, six green. <sighs> Dang it. All right, back to this player. They need some green cards because they have three handshakes. I don't know what they're going to play. There's seven. Go here. Draw this. Seven yellow. They don't need yellow. Oh, I guess they have a, a two, but I would really like to have yellow. I'm going to go ahead and start with the blue. So I'm going to draw that. I'm going to take this. Then it's this player's turn. They are going to... They'll go ahead and play the three. Just, I don't know why, but that's what they're going to do. Then they're going to draw a card. Nine, boom. That's what I was wanting, but that's okay. That is okay. I'll play the four blue. I'll draw the nine blue. Then it will be this player's turn. They're going to play their nine. And then they're going to draw... They don't want any of these. So they're going to draw a card at the top. Ooh, they got the ten. That is nice for them. All right, I'm going to play the five blue. I'll draw this. I'm going to try to play a bunch of blues without any wagers and see what happens. So I drew the ten from there. This player's turn. All right, they can see that I have the two, four, and five, so they're going to go ahead and play the six. And then they will draw. They're going to draw this eight. And then it's back to my turn. I am going to 
Keep playing some blue. Play that eight. Draw a card. Ah, blue handshake. Worthless. Worthless. <sighs> I was trying to hold off, but. Say, let me. All right, they're going to play the 10 purple because that's going to be worth some decent points right there. Then they drew a five yellow. Man, this player, was, I would love to have some yellow. That would be amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this. Draw another card. Yes, I got another yellow. I at least have two yellows now, an eight and a 10. That's something. All right. So they are going to... We're going to go ahead and play this five yellow down here and they're going to draw a card a white handshake which is good for them it's actually good for both players because nobody's played any white yet all right so i'm going to play the 10 draw a card red handshake boom i'll take it i will take it all right they're actually called wager cards but it's a dude shaking hands uh, they're going to play this the white handshake and they're going to take the nine and this player is going to play the red handshake and take the 10. the game is over when the deck runs out so it's a pretty fast game probably about 20 25 minutes and let's see here i'm going to go ahead and start I'm just going to play this seven and I'm going to draw a card from here. Five green. They need green real bad. All right. And I know they want green, so I'm going to start playing green. And then I'm going to draw a card. Five. Nice. All right. And then I need to play some stiff. Let's play the three white here. Draw a card. Two green, that's what they were looking for. Now we're in business. Alright, I'm going to play the six green. To let them know that I have green. And I won't be messed with. I'm going to draw a card. Oh, yes. Another handshake for yellow. That works. That works. They're going to play this two green. Because they want to start getting in the green game. Nine. That is excellent. Excellent. All right, third yellow handshake, all mine, drawing a card, nine red. Let's see, this is getting down to crunch time here. All right, we're going to do the five here, draw a card, ten, yeah. All right, boom, boom, boom. Um, let's see. What do I want to play? What do I want to play? I'm actually going to discard this and I'm just going to draw a card. 10 red. I'll take it. I will take it. All right. Back over to here. Um, they're going to play this Aiana. They're actually going to play some red because they know I have two wages in red. So they're going to start playing some reds to help me to ensure that I don't get a ton of points. So yellow six, I would love to have the yellow six. But, say let me. So I'm gonna play the five. Keep, get this ball rolling. Draw another card. Yes, a yellow, yellow nine. I'll take that. And let's see, they're gonna go ahead and play the seven red. Draw a card. Four red, ah, oh, that's worthless for everybody because we're past the four. Yeah, oh well. I'm going to play the nine red. Draw a card. Seven blue, which is dead to me. That's okay. We'll make the best of it. Can't pick this card up. All right. Then we are going to play... Let's do, oh, they can't play that. So they're going to have to, they're going to discard that, even though they know I probably want it. Three green, which is crap to them too. It's all right. It's all right. All right. So I'm going to play this 10 red. I'm going to take this because I need some yellow because it's going to be worth a pile of points. All right. Then this player, they're going to play their eight red. Draw a card. 
Ah, blue handshake. Worthless. All right, let's see. I'm going to start playing some yellow to get some points. Seven green. They'd really like to have that card, but joke's on them. They're not going to get it. All right, let's see. So they're going to keep going with some green. So they're going to play that. They're going to draw a card. Purple handshake. Those are dead. Once you play a number on a handshake, you can't ever play another handshake. So that's why when I say the purple handshake is dead, it's dead. So I'm going to play this. Eight. Draw a card. I need to get these up here so I can draw them better. Three red. Okay. Then, let's see. They're going to do the nine green. Draw a card. Blue handshake. Worthless. Okay. It's discard fodder. And I'm going to play the seven green. Because I can. Draw a card. Three. Ah. It happens. It happens. All right. So then they're going to play their 10 green. It's going to give them a pile of cards right there. Ooh, they're going to get a 20 point, point bonus. Five, six, seven. Ooh, yes. That's awesome for them. Four yellow. Nothing. Means nothing to them. But that's fine. That is fine. I'm going to play the nine yellow. Draw a card. Two white. I need to get some white playing. Um, so they're going to play, they're going to play the seven white, and they're actually going to draw a handshake so they can keep this going a little bit, and then I'm going to play my ten, I can't draw any off the board, ooh, a white handshake, that is awesome, now I just got to make sure that I can get some cards played. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and play the nine and draw a card. So there's like two rounds left, three rounds left. That is not good. So I'm going to play the handshake and then it's, I got to draw a card. Five. Oof. I have all the white cards, but I can't get them played. And then they're going to play. Ooh, they can't play anything. That's awesome for me. So they're going to have to discard a handshake. And I'll draw this one, which will end the game. So that is bad. That is bad. That is very, 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 very bad. All right. So now we're going to add up points. So the way the points work is you're going to start out with negative 20 on each section. You're going to take 20 plus your positive score, and that's going to be your total score. So we're really starting out with negative 120 because there's 6 times 20. So I'm not going to figure out this player's score. I'm only going to do mine. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So we have negative 120. So this will be double because I have one handshake. So 5, 9, 17. So that's 34. 34. I'm going to try not to forget. I can't use my calculator because my calculator is on my phone. So 34. This is uh, tripled because there's two handshakes. So 19, 24, so that is 72 plus 34. That's 96. If my math is off, I apologize. 100, 106, 113. These are just normal points because there's no handshakes. Um, 113, 15, 19, 125, 133. 142, 152. All right, so these are our ne negatives because I didn't get any cards. So this is going to be negative 20 times 3, so negative 60. So now I'm down to 92. I was at 152, now I'm at 92. So that was bad. This is going to be tripled, so I'm at 92. Um, 14, 24, 33 tripled, which is 99. So I'm at 190-ish, minus 120, so I have 70 points. And that is my score. So this player is going to do the same thing, and whoever has those highest points is the winner. And that's how you play Lost Cities. Let's go up to the top, see what we think about it. All right, so that was Lost Cities. Uh, I can't believe I haven't played this game until now. 20 years old, and I just finally played it actually a few days ago. 
played it three times in a row. It was that amazing. Uh, I'm a big fan of two player card games. Um, I play a lot with my wife, Katie, because it's easy to just get busted out. We sit it down, we bust it out in 25 minutes, 30 minutes, and then we can go on watching TV or hanging out or cleaning the house or whatever we do. So this is another one that I find is fantastic. So I'm not going to tell you too much about the game. I'm just going to go into the pros and cons. So pros, which will be right up in this area. One of the things I like about this game is Vincent Dutre artwork. There's not a lot of artwork in the game, but it makes it nice to look at it because you can tell it's Vincent Dutre and he puts a lot of care into his art. Second thing that I like, easy to play. All you're doing in this game is you're playing a card, you're drawing a card, or you're discarding a card and playing a card. You're just trying to kind of be aware of what your opponent's playing so you don't feed into their hands. You maybe want to discard some stuff that they don't want if you have to discard. You're just trying to kind of outthink your opponent this whole time. So it's a little like mental tug of war, which I really enjoy. I like uh, that the board is two-sided, that you can play the five colors for a quicker game or the six colors for a slower game. It maybe adds three minutes, not a big deal. So it gives you some variety to play if you just want to bang out the five colors or do the six colors. The rule book, two pages. Um, it's easy to explain. It's easy to read. It's easy to understand. It takes no time at all. I think when I was learning it, I learned it in about... 35 seconds. That's probably hyperbole, but maybe four or five minutes. Not a big deal. Um, the total package, small box, just cards. All the components are amazing because the cards are really nice quality and they shuffle really well. The board is nice and thick. Everything is in the components and the box and the art just look amazing. The one con that I have is the scoring because it's Dr. Knizia is really math heavy and you gotta think about it a little bit because there are some nuances. So I didn't show the opponent score, but if you get eight cards in a row, you get an extra 20 points. So that right there is going to bring that negative 20 section to zero. But if you don't play any cards, there's no points, there's no negative, there's no positive. But if you just play a wager, it's gonna take the negatives and it's gonna multiply it by however many wager cards, double, triple, quadruple. So it's easy but you definitely need a calculator. So keep that in mind. All the rest of the game, super easy, scoring, tricky. So all that being said, I'm just going to give this um, a four and a half inches out of five. So it's BGM accepted. This is a nine out of 10 two player game for me because it's super fast, super quick, super fun. I guess fast and quick are the same thing. So you get the point. It's quick and fun and I highly enjoyed it. So that is Lost Cities from Dr. Kinesia and Cosmos. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, Keep gaming.